All right, 2018 Peterbilt 579, drum machine at Falkhead P3848, very bottom one there, pump module pressure, voltage too low. So first thing, RMI, put that fault code in, get on here to the diagnosis, click on that, and we'll hit troubleshooting information right here. That's gonna open up all of our troubleshooting information for this fault code, takes you step by step. First one, they wanna know if these two fault codes are active or inactive, 3967 and 3968. So they are nowhere on there. So the response to that one's on me now. So go to step 1B. Is fault code 3848 active? Go back to day before. 3848. It's got the red box with two explanation points. So yes, it is active. So go to step 2A. Dozing valve check DEF L174. Check for all this whole blob of stuff for damage wiring, pins, and stuff like that. You have no idea where DEF L174 is, that's where day before comes in handy again. Then we go here and click on location, and it would take us right to the location of the dozing valve. And we can click on that, maximize it, and then just to give you guys an idea where it's at, passenger side, right underneath the step, it is this guy right here. And that connector forward is that yellow tab, yellow locking tab, that's our catcher connector. So let's go back to the troubleshooting. We disconnect it here and we're gonna check for all this. So I'll go ahead and disconnect it and I'll be back. All right, the connector's disconnected. All the pins look fine backside of the connector nothing's melted or anything so I'll show you guys the pin out now because the next step we got if all that was okay it says no go to step 2b we're gonna have to check for the def supply pin on the voltage should be five volt so we're gonna measure make sure we have five volt on that so if you hit this button on rmi the little blue link It'll take you out to go through and do the checks and it'll show you the pinout. So there's the pinout. And it shows you yellow lock to the left here. Pin five is what we're gonna check, and then pin seven. So pin five is our supply, pin seven is our ground. So we're gonna check them with a multimeter, make sure we got five volts, or if you scroll down even further, it shows you what you're supposed to have. 4.75 to 5.25 and it tells you positive goes to pin 5 your negative probe goes to pin 7 so let me get this set up all right so we got it hooked up the red wire there's our pin 5 the black wire and the gray wire that is pin 7 and we got 5 volts so that means that's good so let's go back here and it says with all measurements within the suspected range yes go to 2c so now we're going to do a circuit response test and we're going to key off, disconnect it, which we already got it disconnected. And we're going to connect a jumper between the supply pin and the signal pin for the dozing valve. So let's go back to our little pin out. Actually, I got it here. Yep, somewhere. That one's for. So we're going to go between pin five and pin eight, we're gonna jump across. So, just connect it. Turn the key off. Back over here, we'll jump it. So now we're going to key on, wait for 30 seconds, and we're going to see if this 3847 goes active and 3848 goes inactive. If I go here, key on. All right. 
keys on. So we need to go to the day before, refresh the vehicle check. Hit okay on this. Wait for it to finish. DTCA review whenever it gets ungrade here. Go to all. So 3847 is active because it's got the red box with two explanation points. 3848 is now inactive. It's got the amber with the one explanation point. So the answer to this question is dude, come on, phone and focus. Yeah, it's yes. I don't know why my phone's acting up here. So we'll go to step 2D. 2D says to turn a key off, connect the connector, turn it back on. Does 3848 go back inactive? And if it does, that means we need to replace the dozing valve, which is that guy right there. So let's go and do that now too. Key bag off. over here pull our jumper wire out all right got a plug back in so now we're gonna turn the key back on Refresh vehicle check. So now it says to key on, use the AV4 and perform a vehicle check for current DTCs. So let's go back to vehicle check. Refresh vehicle check. Okay, now we gotta wait. And 3847 should go inactive now, and then 3848 should become active again. DTCs 3848 is back active. It's got the red box here. The two explanation points right here. 3847 went inactive. It's got the amber box. So, according to Davey, replace the dozing valve. That guy right here. And that'll take care of it. All right. I'm not doing a repair on this one. Customers doing a repair. So, I'll keep you guys updated if they tell me it's not that. But almost 100% positive that's what it's going to be. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.